this video we're going to look at compound interest. Uh, compound interest can be considered either by using this formula, which is initial multiplied by multiplier to the power of time, or by use it, or by doing repeated uh, percentage increase or decrease depending on the question. Let's look at a couple of examples to see what I mean. Okay, so we're going to look at this question both ways by using repeated percentage increase and by using the compound interest formula. So, David's pay of £500 a week will increase 10% each year for the next two years. How much will he get at the end of the two years? So, using repeated percentage increase, so after the first year, well, he gets £500 to begin with. After one year, well, it's going to increase by 10%. 10% of 500 is £50, add that on would be £550, so that's for one year. Then for the second year, 10% of 550 is 55 add that on would be £605. So that's how to do it by using repeated percentage increase. However, if you were going to look at 20 years worth of increases or if you're looking at um, trial improvement questions, it's going to be quite a time consuming process. Let's use the compound interest formula. Remember, it's initial, which the initial is £500, multiplied by the multiplier. Well, it's a 10% increase. Do you remember, watch the video on multipliers, 10% increase, well, that would be 100% plus another 10% is 110%, well, that would be 1.1 to the power of time. Well, it was two years in the question, so that's going to be to the power of two. So, get your calculator, 500 multiplied by 1.1 squared equals 605 pound. Let's look at another example. Okay, so a full water tank has sprung a leak. It will lose 5% of its water every hour. What percentage of the water will be left after 5 hours? So, uh, this question is slightly different because it hasn't actually told you the initial amount of water. But because it said it's a full water tank, what we're going to do is we're going to deal with percentages here. We're going to say it's got 100%. It's full to begin with. So the initial is 100, 100%. Multiplied by the multiplier. It's losing 5%. So that is multiplied by 0.95. Losing 5%. And the time is 5 hours so to the power of 5. So you get your calculator. You're going to do 100 times by 0.95 to the power of 5 and that gives you 77.378% uh, so let's just call that 77.4% of the water so after 5 hours that's how much it will have left if it asks you how much of the water it would lose well you take that away from 100 and then that would give you how much uh, as a percentage or that would tell you what percentage of water is lost Okay, we're now going to look at another compound interest question. Uh, this is the third different type of question that you could be asked. Um, we've now got a, it's a trial improvement type of question. It says a tree grows 10% a year. If it is 2 metres tall, how long will it take to double in height? So in other words, how long will it take to become 4 metres tall? Remember, it's initial multiplied by the multiplier to the power of time. Well, the initial is 2 metres, so it's 2 metres tall. Multiplied by the multiplier, well it's a 10% increase, so that would be 1.1 to the power of time x. And what we want to do is we want to try and get, um, we want to see how many years it will take to get over 4 metres. Okay, so let's try some numbers. Um, let's try x equals 4, let's try 4 years. So if we've done 2 times 1.1 to the power of 4 we get 2.9, and write your answer down, 2.9282. Well, that's not big enough, so let's try a slightly bigger number. Let's try x to be equal to 6. So again, you try 2 times 1.1 to the power of 6, and you get 3.543122 meters tall. Let's try another one, x to the power of 7. So after 7 years, 2 times 1.1 to the power of 7 equals, we're getting close, 3.897 metres. Now I'm thinking, well it's going to be 8 years, but I don't know that for certain yet, so let's try x to be equal to 8. So 2 times 1.1 to the power of 8 equals 4.2 so the question says how long will it take to double in height well to find it to find it to how many years it will take to double in height it's going to be eight years eight years it's in between seven and eight 
you can't work out using GCSE maths the exact number. You work that out in um, C3 maths or C2 maths, how to find that but uh, level. Um, but it will take eight years to double in height. Seven years, it was a bit too short. Eight years is how long it would take. 